The growth of linger can be classified into natural growth, capsulated growth, and logwood cultivated. Each has its own growth pattern. Natural linger is grown in nature and is commonly known as wild linger. It depends on the decomposed wooden particles of the trees to form the linger fruit body that begins to calcify and form xylem after one year, significantly reducing the active components. By then, the spore powder in the fruit body of the wild linger has already been released, hence its potency is very low. Capsulated linger is cultivated indoors on crumbs of wood and chemical materials. Such linger has a short growth period and can be harvested in two months. The high productivity and low cost of these linger makes it highly cost effective. However, as the chemical fungus is grown on wooden crumbs and chemicals, it calls for such deliberation by the consumer. In addition, as such linger are unable to take in natural sunlight and rain and the essence of nature, its body is soft and loose or even split in shape. The contents of organic germanium, triterpenes and polysaccharides are lower and spore powder can be extracted. Hence its curing effect is much lower than that of logwood linger. Longha logwood linger is cultivated scientifically under highly controlled and sterile environment. Its growth and harvest are mutually managed under the natural climate. Such linger do not contain any other chemicals or chemically added materials. Its fruity body is firm and strong with luster. It also contains invaluable spores. Hence, the active components and medicinal values of logwood linger are much higher than that of natural linger and capsulated linger.